Hey guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures, and I am going to show you how I restore four hand saws. They look like this. They are pretty gross and rusty. I am going to use the same method that I did with the cast iron skillet. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link up to it at the top so you can check it out. But this one is going to be a little different. Um, as you can see, it has a handle on it, and it's got uh, this one has one, two, three, four, five, five screws in it, as you can see. So I'm going to restore the handle as well, but I got to take the handle off. Hopefully, <laughs> take the handle off. But I'm going to restore it. I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to put some uh, finish on it and some polyurethane, and I'm going to make it look shiny. And I'm going to get all the rust off the blade on all four of these. So. Let's get to going. Let us now praise the carpenter and the thing. All right, since I have four of these saws, I have four cups. Um, the reason for the cups is once I get these screws out, I am going to soak them as well in vinegar. For them, I'm actually going to use apple cider vinegar. I want to see if that does anything different than just normal white vinegar. But uh, we'll see how that works out. So I'm going to grab my screwdriver and. Hey, <laughs> put a little engineer in. I got it to come out. All right, so here is the handle. I like all the cool designs on it. It's really cool. So I'm going to set the blade off to the side for a couple minutes. Then I'm going to take a cup and I'm going to put all these screws in it. See, they're all gross and rusty. I'm going to put them in the cup going to give them a apple cider bath. Okay, so I'm going to do the next three. I'm going to take the handles off them. Um, as you can see, this handle is basically the same thing as the one I took off. And uh, this one is broken, but it's fine for what we're going to do with these. And this one is made, is a uh, is a newer one. It's got some, um, you know, finish on it already. already so I'm, you know, sand that down as well. Till the day that he died, he was tough as a crowbar. He was quick. All right, so I got my awesome Brillo pads, and we are going to grab one of the saw blades. Watch out! And I am going to scrub with the Brillo pad. We'll scrub it and see if uh, I can get some of this rust off. So this is going to be my method of thinking. Um, I have an extra one. <laughs> I have these screws with the handle so that way I don't get them confused. Okay, so I got this handy dandy uh, angled sanding sponge. It is a 60-80 grit. So we'll see how well this works. <laughs> child one because I can't get the uh, the screws out so I'm going to sand the handle while it's on here and I'm going to go ahead and stain it and then <laughs>
nice and cleaned up. Looks really good. Yeah. All right, we got the next one done. It looks 100% better. Yeah. Check it out. All right, so the problem child saw <laughs> is done. It's still drying a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty much done. All right, last but not least. Yeah. It's really good. So thanks for watching this hand saw restoration. It took, <laughs> it only took a day to do. That cast iron skillet took five days to do, and these only took one day. But um, I didn't fully get all the rust off because of what I'm going to do with them. Um, I want to add, I want to keep a little bit of character to them. But they turned out really well. I am pleased with them, and uh, they were ready for the next step. If you want to see what that next step is, um, just you know, check on the Facebook page. I give it about a couple months, and I will post uh, what they end up look liking. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh,